to review the light. Today we're taking a look at the Thorfire Camping Lantern, but really quick if you haven't yet, go ahead and click this link right down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel and this one right up here to follow me on Facebook. That'll make sure you keep up to date with the latest reviews and videos. Uh, so having a look at the flashlight here, it's uh, obviously not a standard flashlight, it's a camping lantern. So I will show you each side of the box here. If there's anything that you want better look at, you can feel free to pause it. So just some pictures describing its function there, which is nice. Open it up. You can see we've got the lantern here. And then also have the instruction manual. And I'll get that out if anyone wants to take a closer look at the instructions. You can uh, pause the video at any time and read through those at your leisure. So that's the instruction manual. And also under here we have a couple of charging cords. We've got one kind of standard USB. You might plug into a USB port on your computer or an adapter for the wall or your car. This other end is what you plug into the light. And it looks like this also um, is another option if you have a cord that ends in a standard USB, you can hook this onto there. Um, and get a little extra reach out of it, I guess, would be the idea behind that. Um, so I, th I think that's what they're going for with that, including that cord also. So, and uh, before, I guess before I put the cord away, I'll just show you how this works here. When you uh, want to charge up the flashlight, it's got a battery built in, a rechargeable battery. You can plug that in right there and plug the other end into your computer or whatever you like and uh, the little red indicator light will light up to let you know that it's charging. Um, the other method for charging this flashlight we'll go ahead and show um, is by cranking this handle here. So this just flips out and then as you turn this you can see a little red light lights up to let you know that you're charging and then it turns off again when you stop cranking. So there's one way to charge the battery. The uh, instruction manual recommends uh, rotating that three times a second. So it'd be pretty fast, uh, I think, to, to do with just your hands, but uh, maybe it's possible. Um, so taking a look at the light here, in the top you can see we've got this aspheric lens here to kind of focus the, the light and just kind of a fun pattern around it. And then on the side we've got the Thorfire logo there. This is blank otherwise. You can see that we've got a crank on the bottom along with a handle here if you want to hang it up on something. And then um, to get the kind of more, this, this would be like the uh, you know directional function of the light. If you want a more omnidirectional lantern, you just kind of pull this apart and it unfolds. And then here you can see that's uh, how that works. You just kind of put a little pressure unfold it or push it back. So this thing's made of plastic. Um, most of the other lights, if you're familiar with my channel that I review, are um, <clears throat> made out of either aluminum or some more exotic metal. Um, so this is definitely not going to be as sturdy as uh, one made out of aluminum or some other metal, but uh, for a lot of camping use, I'd say the plastic is going to be fine. Um, I'd just be careful with this uh, handle. It seems a little bit thin, and obviously this uh, plastic in here has to be thin for its function, uh, but again, you just want to be careful with that because if that breaks, then there's not really much you'll be able to do. But um, it seems like it should end up, stand up to regular use just fine as long as you're not really rough with it. So to turn it on, you hit this button here. You can see we've got light coming out of the top. It's got it's pretty well focused. Well, you'll see that better when you take it outside. Uh, you can hit it again, and it goes up to its high mode. And then one more time and it goes off. So we've got off, low, and high. And those are the only modes it has. It's very simple. And then opening it up, I'll give you a look at what that looks like. And again, we've got the low and then the high. So it's a pretty neat little light. And obviously some of the light still comes through the top when you have it extended, just not as much. So this is the uh, Thorfire Camping Lantern. Stick around for just a second and we will take it outside and give it a uh, shot in the dark. All right, welcome back to Review the Light. We've got the Thorfire Camping Lantern out here in the backyard. We'll go ahead and fire it up and give it a shot. So it comes on in its lowest mode, and I've got it compacted right here. So it's only the spotlight showing. You can see the Thorfire logo looks pretty nice there with the orange glow on the ring. 
So you can see it's got a very well defined spot with a little bit of spill and um, outside of that there's a, a little bit of spill outside which you can see but most of the light is compact in that narrow beam due to the aspheric lens. And you can see this whole surface right here is an emitting surface. The spot is right in the middle but the whole thing uh, shines because it's got a diffuser around it. So then I'll kick it up to the next mode and you can see it's a good amount of light. I can see uh, surprisingly far away for um, what I'm guessing is a little, little power, low powered light here because of that emitter. So obviously um, it's uh, compacted into a small area with not a lot of spill. I can see a little bit outside but that's that. My dog thought he saw something over there so if you hear him running around don't bother, don't mind him. Um, I'll go ahead and open it up. This is its lantern mode. This is the lower lantern mode there so you can see that what that looks like. I guess I'll carry that over to the other side of the yard so you can see. Alright, and again this is the Thorfire Camping Lantern, and uh, like I said, be sure to subscribe to my channel down here. Follow me on Facebook up here if you haven't yet. Thanks, and have a great night.